Hey, Jaina here at CourseBistro.com. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a product, which could be a course, a masterclass. It could be a mastermind group. Um, it could be a membership site or a challenge in your member vault. So what we want to do here is go to products and then down here at the bottom, click add product. I've already basically put the name in for it. So I'm just going to click edit here. The name of it is the member vault quick start course. So what we want to do, there's a couple ways we could do this. If this is a beta course, which it is, I'm going to set it up. You could either set it at active so it shows up on your member vault subscriber hub and as some of your um, available products and your teaser link. So I'm going to set it up as active, but I'm going to set it up as date dripped, which means I'm going to be building out the modules as I go with each module dropping one week apart. And then here's the title. And then what we want to do is come down here. I've already created the images uh, just to make this go a little more quickly. So what we'll do here, boom, we're going to go up to here to pictures. And I've got Course Bistro, Member Vault. And we've got the product graphics. So I have several product graphics created here. And so I want this one. The dimensions are 640 by 243 pixels. So I'll add that. It'll populate here and show up. And then what we want to do is have a nice description here. And so I have the descriptions pre-written. Just going to pop them in here. And it's possible too to put in some images or even a welcome video right here. For now, I'm just going to put in some descriptions. And then this is a welcome message after your student purchases the course. It's nice to give them a, a nice little welcome. And what I might do too is just kind of customize this, this uh, text here a little bit. It's not letting me do it. There we go. So I'm just going to bold and italicize this text. Just style it a little bit. So down here at the bottom, I'm just going to click save. Up here at the top. What I'm going to do now, um, there's sign up options. So this is how we want someone to actually um, either purchase the course or we can link out somewhere else. Say you have a sales page on your website, you can link out directly to the sales page or you can set it up to go to a form in your email sub subscriber um, list. And like if you're doing a wait list for your product and it's going to open at a later date and you just want to gather up names um, and then email them when your product goes live. Um, or just set up the product to be a buy now option. So you can do a one-time payment or you can do a recurring monthly payment if it's a membership site. So we want to set that up. If I do have a coupon code, I can create whatever name I want. And then you can set it up as either a percentage off or a specific amount off. It can be an expiring coupon. And to do that, you would just come in at the expiration time and, and click the X here and it would delete the coupon. So, and then I want to set up my button text. And I'm going to just say, yes, I need a show and tell walkthrough is the name of my button. And then I've also um, added an image here and put some text here to join the wait list. So in this case, I would not, I, if I'm having people join my wait list, I'm going to have them go to a form. And then what I will do, we want to um, have them agree to my terms of service policy. So I hyperlink that. I highlighted the text, used the link. Um, that's that makes it GDPR compliant. And then I can either add them to a list that I have in my email if they opt in or to a form. And so I'm having it go to a form right here. And so we want to save that. I have some tracking code in here. You can grab those tracking codes here. So and then I'm going to preview this. Take a look. See how that looks for my product itself. So the product is the main thing the viewer comes to. So there you have it. So now what we want to do is go back and start editing the module level. There's three levels. There's the product level, which is like the course or membership site, the module level, and then the, the lesson level. So for the module, I'm going to add a module. I already have one started here, so I'm just going to go with this. If I want it to go, since this is a welcome module, I want it to go directly into the lesson level. So I'm just going to make the title of both of those the same, and it's just going to say welcome. Actually, I'll use this one. Welcome to Member Vault. Enjoy this quick start mini course. Since it's date dripped, I want the welcome module to open 
uh, up entirely right away. So what I'm going to do is just put in, I'm going to backdate it so that it is a date in the past. We know that's a date in the past. And um, then I'm going to add a file image. The headers for each of the modules are 600 by 100. So I have those preset. So I'm going to just add this in. There it is. I'm going to show you here in Member Vault uh, in my Canva account how I do the, these are the product images. So I just do them one right after the next. So I keep the formatting the same. And then here's the tiles for the each of the modules. So that just makes it more simple to have those set up in advance. So then I'm going to come down here for my short description. This is going to appear where the modules are listed out. I have this already written. So I have my short description here. So if you have these things written up in advance, it makes things go pretty quickly. And then my description after someone clicks into the module. So I have these all set up here on my Keep account. The description, here we go. So we'll just cut and paste this in. This just gives us some text here for um, so people know what they're looking at when they get into the module. And you may have a series of lessons. We're just going to set up a single lesson for this. I just want to make sure that's saved up at the top corner here. You can see that it's saved there. I'm going to scroll up to the top. And now we want to add a lesson. So I have a start of a lesson. I'm just going to use this. And again, since I want it to go directly from the module level into the lesson level, I am just going to make the title exactly the same. Welcome. Boom. Then I'm going to add a video link here. So we just want the ending link, like if it's a YouTube video or you use an embed code if you're using something besides um, Vimeo or YouTube. So I have the embed code here, but what I'm really going to need is just this little bit snippet right here. So I'm going to pop that in here and it should populate the video. There it is. And then we want to have some lesson text. We want to give them some instructions, some guidance, because this is at the lesson level. So I'm going to just scroll down here. Here's our lesson text. I'm going to just grab both of these at once. It's going to make this go a little more quickly. I'm going to put my lesson text there, and then I'm going to put this one down below. We'll delete this. I'm going to, again, just stylize this just a little bit, format it. And then we're going to go down one more box. This is actually where we're going to give them some information of what to do. So I want them to download my Member Vault check set up checklist. So I'm going to say next steps. I'm just going to make this bold and the member vault set up checklist. I'm just going to make that bold and italicized. And then because I love to give little mock-up images of what they're going to see or get when they download it, I'm going to upload a mock-up image that I've already created of this checklist. So it is right here. It's showing all seven pages of the checklist I created. And I'm just going to say it. this is checklist, checklist. I like to make these about 600 by 600 or so. And then I'm going to center it. Click OK. So that gives us a nice image in there. Then I'm going to save this lesson. Then what I want to do is I want to actually upload the file. So I'm going to do that over here. I already have the file created. So I'm going to just call this the Member Vault Setup Checklist. I'm going to choose the file. Here is where I have this more in my documents. Just going to find it real quick here. I've already downloaded it as a PDF. Um, so that's a great way to upload it. Here it is. We're going to upload it and then we want to click. Once you see the title here, you know it's there and then we want to add the file. Okay. 
there we go. And then what I want to do, um, one of the best things about Member Vault is that you can add some questions at the end of each lesson. So for someone to click this lesson as complete and maybe earn some of those engagement points that they're seeking, EP stands for engagement points, I'm going to add two different questions. And these are going to serve as lean market research. And what I mean by that is I'm going to find out what people really are struggling with and what they need. So I have two questions already. There's two types of questions. One is a multiple choice question. If I'm trying to really assess someone's knowledge on something or even get just a yes, no answer, but I want this to be open-ended. So an open-ended type question is an essay question. So I'm gonna add this one and I'm gonna add one more. I wanna know um, what their number one struggle is with setting up their member vault because then I can create better resources around that. And then I'm gonna set up a second question that's basically if I were to create a custom designed resource just to help them with something they're struggling with or to help them speed up their process, what would that be? That's just a great lean market research question. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to add that and then we'll take a preview look at this and see how this is looking, see if it looks like what we want. So looking good so far, I am going to scroll up to the top and click preview. And then you'll see that it's a nicely filled out lesson. We've got some kind of recurring color themes going on in here, just some introductory text. The download is right here. We have a nice mock-up of what they're gonna get. And then we're just saying, hey, download the checklist, follow along. And then we have our quiz questions here. So that's how you set up a product and a, all the way down to a lesson level in Member Vault.